What a sweet beach. God, I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this. Don't game, fuck okay? it up, Chloe. Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. <laughs> you should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> lady balls. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, <laughs> you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Hardy boys? Some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man. I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you... Like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I... I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shits. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the fuck back now! Papadou! You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god. Dude. Dude. Oh no! Chloe. I just shot a man and his dog. I killed Frank Powers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it, it was self-defense for both of us. Whoa. Max? Whoa! Frank is really dead. I know. But we can't stop now. 
We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. How are we gonna get out of this one? That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. And only I can change it. Do I live with the consequences, or do I change it? Hmm, it's so brutal. Hey, yo. I can't let her go. I can't. She's gonna regret that for the rest of her, like killing someone. Even if it was self-defense, like there's a very high chance she could still go to jail. Let me skip. Chloe, I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you'd be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. That's cool. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. There you go. We can do this. We got it. We got it, guys. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me. Uh -huh. Return the favor. So what do you want? The irony. Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my... Hmm. Let's try I'm sorry since he's so goddamn aggressive. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fuck. If only I could tell him it's about Rachel. I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... D dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me! We were all freaked out, now we're all cool. Please? Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. God. To talk. Oh yeah, the dog fights. Talk. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. Whoa. That's how I came. Heart of gold over here. 
That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel... Do really ask yourself, yourself the question. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice. Or her laugh. Anymore. Mm. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, yeah, I'll take it. My yes! We so did it! A good sign. Dude. Heart of fucking gold. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Whoa, I have changed the tides. Everybody's happy. Awesome. That was now cool. that I can live with. Code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Let's do it. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Yeah. In a less dead one. And now we have more clues. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Frank. Whoa. It's like a bud now. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Yes! Boom. Game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. All these papers. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. All these drugs. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? Okay, Max, remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. That's it, Max. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. 
David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. I would have been upset. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? So creepy. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Indeed. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. One last, no, two sets of clues. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the core? That's definitely Chloe's car. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Could be. Pretty sure, because the first Who episode. Is this car belong to? Maybe it's different truck. Of course, Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Oh, yes, now we're fine. Single big beam, what could it mean? Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Oh, my cross reference thing paid off. But there's one more. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Oh, I didn't mean to select you. Holy shit. Nathan is Four so numbers. unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. SIM card. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Well, look at the other clues. So busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? That's what I'm starting to think, honestly. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe's Want to know. on her flash drive. There's a lot of numbers in here. Oops, bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Maybe the other number. You locked it, dumbass. I see. You gotta lock it, or like, put it into like, you incorrectly entered it too many times. So that, you can get to this, and always have a code. Booyah! Yeah! Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drunk. Damn, he's serious. Whoa, I guess he had an outburst on the fool. God, Nathan, you're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Whoa. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Oh, 
shit, what is this madness? Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Fuck. Let's get a look in. So these are all the texts. Oh, I see. This isn't that hard. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. Not much out there. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That beach is like Frank's main office. Is that it? Chloe. Yes! Definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching Aww. for you. Who owns this haunted barn? I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron... Oh shit. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody. Except each other. This is so getting creepier. By ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I do. It's close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes!